Hi, my name is Jeremy. I work at Bath & Granite. I'm the stone fabrication supervisor here. Today I want to talk to you about Euro seams versus saw cut seams. You've probably seen in our earlier videos uh, why we use Euro seams and we try to use Euro seams fairly often, but there's certain uh, circumstances in which a Euro seam doesn't quite work in that situation. Jeremy, in what circumstances would you want to use a saw cut seam instead of a Euro fit seam? Okay, there's a couple different circumstances. One, we like to use a saw cut seam when in front of a sink or going straight down the center of a sink. Um, what happens is on certain customers' cabinet runs, maybe that run is too long to actually fit on a full slab. So we'd like to seam at the sink. The reason why we seam at the sink, it's gonna be the smallest actual seam that we can put in. Instead of saying seam on the right or left of your sink, which will create a 25 and a half inch or so uh, seam, we like to seam right down the center, which creates a four to four and a half inch seam versus that longer seam. Situation is an island. Say customer has a full slab island. So what we like to do is maybe there's veins, um, maybe it's a particularly fragile stone, We've run into in the past some technical fitment issues using Euro seams on such a long stretch. So we like to keep that simple using a saw cut seam where we know we're going. By using a saw cut seam, we'll know we'll achieve a perfect fitment from three feet all the way to a six, seven foot seam if needed. Jeremy, does it matter which material you're using, whether you, whether you decide to use a Euro seam or a straight saw cut seam? Absolutely, material plays a big factor in whether or not our fabricators choose to use a Euro seam or a saw cut seam. Generally, on a uh, more fragile stone, we, use, we leave it up to the experienced fabricators to make a judgment call on this. What happens with a fragile stone is our water jet comes through and tends to chip or blow out on a curved Euro seam versus just having that saw cut seam drop down and run the entire length. Got it, so if a material tends to chip more or if you see other structural integrity problems with the material, you will not use a Euro seam, is that correct? That is correct, yeah. If, there is, if it's a fragile stone, you have to look at it this way. If it's a fragile stone, basically, and we're doing a Euro seam, it has to go to two different machines, which increases moving time, which increases the liability of uh, just transportation, chipping during transportation um, versus something that can be done directly on the fusion with a saw cut comes off this uh, off that machine and it's done got it so you're talking about like a human error um, in damaging the piece if it's a fragile stone what about um, the saw jet itself does it impact a certain materials differently than the saw blade would absolutely if you're if you're using a more delicate stone the saw what we actually we have multiple different blades so if you're using a really fragile uh, stone, such as maybe a, um, a marble or something with a lot of mica in it, we would actually switch to a marble blade, something that's specifically used to cut this stone. That way we're using the exact blade and running one straight saw cut through, as opposed to dropping the water jet down, which can cause all this chipping um, and blowouts. Got it, all right, Jeremy. So suppose we have a really long section, call it like 150 inches more than 12 feet long, say it's got a sink in it, and then it butts into an L. What kind of seams would you use there? So I would use the same seam. We like to keep all of our seams matching. You don't want a straight saw cut seam in your, uh, say going straight through your kitchen sink, and then we move to a Euro seam um, halfway down your peninsula or that L run that maybe heads back into your stove. We like to keep everything uh, uniform and using the same seams throughout your entire kitchen. Got it. So you, you think it would look funny if we did a straight saw cut through a sink or through an appliance, but then use a Euro seam next to that somewhere? Exactly. Yeah. So you'll you'll see the seam in the center of your sink, and then maybe four feet down to the right, you would see this Euro seam, which is a completely different seam. So we like to keep, like I said earlier, we like to keep all of our seams 